It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? <laughs> because this mic's electric like this. <laughs> can I hold it the whole time? Like, can we hire Tony to just hold it like this for me? I mean, you can hold it like that the whole time if you want. Do you think your arm's gonna, gonna give out in like five <laughs> seconds? This shaking. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm, I started with a new physical therapist. Yes, yeah, feel great. I feel better. I feel a lot better than I have in a while. Um, but I just started thinking about my shoulders getting tired. She has me doing such weird exercises. You know, when like. Yeah. Like you go to phys- you go to PT because you have an obscure problem, and then there's like obscure fixes for it. Yeah. Like, oh, you're gonna work these muscles because they haven't been activated in a while. They got me doing like, she's like, oh, well, the muscles in the front of your neck aren't working, which puts the stress on the back of your neck. And I'm like, math adds up. She's like, what you're gonna do? Lay flat down, make a triple chin, and lift your head off the ground for one inch, and you're gonna hold it for ten seconds. And I do it. I'm like, I feel like like the rock. Like I got muscles <laughs> popping out of here. They were sore the next day. Oh my God. Yeah. I was like, this is insane. And we have like this weird, like wall exercise that makes my shoulders so sore. Anyways, I feel good physically for the first time in a while. Every time you talk about physical therapy, I remember one time I went like the last time they made me like put like a cloth on the wall like this. Yeah. And then I had to like climb or something, but no one like told me to stop and they were so busy. They were like annoying me. That's, I literally just dropped a cloth and never went back. That's the thing with physical therapy. If you get a bad one, yeah, they're like really not attentive to you. Yeah. They're like, do this exercise. I'm like, am I doing it right though? And they just left. So I just, yeah. I, I just left. It's like, uh, what's, what's that pizza place that does like $5 pizzas? CC's? Little Caesars? Hot and ready. Little Caesars. Little Caesars, like hot and ready, but it's not good. Yeah. It's, it's just hot and ready. <laughs> Tony's going to like that one. You know what else? Now I'm just talking about all my deformities. Um, so we don't got that much time. We though. have so much time. <laughs> so if I extend my foot like this way, I can't move my toes. Like, like you see how I'm doing this? Yeah. If I go like this, you can't look, do it. I'm trying. Actually, yeah, I swear to God. What the fuck is wrong with you? So uh, my brother-in-law, he's a chiropractor, saying how like us as humans. You're supposed to be like we we lost our muscles and our feet because we just wear shoes all the time, and like you don't really use them anymore. And since I wear dress shoes all the time for work, and I just never I'm flat footed. It's just fair. like that brings me yeah. to another question. <laughs> okay, so how come people? I wonder why the smartest people in the world aren't the best like athletes, because. You're smart because your brain, like your brain is firing different things, right? Like if you're an athlete, the reason you're moving so quickly is because your brain is sending out messages really quickly. You would think someone yeah. who's really smart would also be really athletic, correct? Like the bigger the brain, you should be better at everything. But maybe because they just didn't focus on it. Like they probably could be. No, because like uh, look at Gronk. You think Gronk's going to be smart if he chose to be? Okay, don't answer that. Like, yes, maybe. No, no, no. I think because he's just like straight athlete. Well, that's what Like I mean. an athlete can't become, like if you're just like, I get, you're physic- saying you're focusing on no, that? like he's physically just like right, but you, like but the reason you're, you're physically like that is because your your brain is wired to send messages to your muscle faster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I think just put Gronk, he's probably just like weight lift big. Right. You know, like he just like this is what I do. I guess so that was his job. But like I think like say like someone that's super smart, like it was like, like I I'm don't gonna, I'm gonna get ripped because I know the science behind it. They can. But if I was like, I'm going to get smart, I'm like, I don't even know where to fucking start. That's what I'm saying. I just feel like big brain people should just be like all around well. Yeah, I think think they could. They just choose not to. I don't think that's the case. I think there are a lot of... They choose chaos instead. Who doesn't? It's a great life to live by. So how are you? (laughs) You tried to segue that so hard and couldn't. (laughs) Don't come with the how are you questions. I need like niche questions. What's up, you big fat bitch? <laughs> That's better. You bitch? Uh, yeah. That's a question. Uh, I'm feeling like a bitch sometimes. Okay. Thanks for inviting me uh, Monday. With the it's DJ's sarcastic. birthday uh, party. It sounded like a sarcastic, like uh, I did something and didn't invite you. No, I don't think. I was actually thinking, am I becoming a person because I work so much that you're just like, Steve can't do it, so I won't get invited? No, I think I invite you to almost everything. Anything that's like planned out or something, I'll invite you. I just kind of assume. Sometimes I'll know whether or not you have yeah. work and I'll still invite you. Um, but it's more like expectations in my head. Yeah. Monday was fun. I was to- I was thinking about that because I was like, I, I usually would say no. But I was like, dude, we lost a year of COVID and I'm not getting any younger. So therefore, I need to take this. I need think to I just- am though? I think you live a lifestyle where it's going to keep you younger for longer. Well, it'll keep me physically not younger for longer. Yeah, yeah, just mentally. 
maybe, yeah. Yeah, like for I me... just living in this area, like, you have to have a young mentality. Yeah, and I was just like, I need to just start stop being a bitch. Like, I need to sleep all the time. So I'm going to try harder. I Yeah, I, I just don't understand why we don't have... Okay, so would you agree that if everybody slept really well every day, like, we just all would have a lot more energy? Yeah, the screen is just flipped up. Don't okay, it's I was, not recording like that. I was like, it's just because I haven't flipped up the back screen gotcha. to the right angle. Sorry, can you repeat the question? If we, so mo, I would say the most people's energy problems at least would be solved if we had like, if everyone was just guaranteed eight and a half hours of uninterrupted sleep, like we'd have a lot, we'd do a lot more and we'd be a lot more productive. How would they not came up with like a better solution to sleeping than just like shitty pills that don't work. Like how is there not a machine that just hooks you up and is like, we're going to put you to sleep now for the next eight and a half hours and not wake up groggy. Agreed. Like that's, I would say that that would solve like 90% of humane problems. But my, my also my problem like today, right? I, I didn't sleep late. I just had an awful sleep and I had to wake up like six 30 and like leave by seven 30. That's only an hour earlier than I usually leave. Right. And I was just so fucking exhausted today. And I'm just like, why like why am i exhausted and, and it gets you frustrated you get like angry so angry and yeah. i was like i shouldn't be i shouldn't be tired but i'm tired how do i fix this for the last month i i put my alarm on the same time how did you sleep through the cleanse was it any different uh weird dreams but good sleeps but i i i just don't get i'm just always tired in the morning still i was still always tired for that first half hour until I took a shower. I can't like function if I don't shower in the morning. Like that's my thing. Interesting. Yeah. Like some people need coffee. No, I need a shower. So, I don't yeah, shower. So, so like you're catching me on a very good day right now. Like, I got yeah. a lot of energy and I feel really yeah. good. I would say like five out of seven days a week. I feel probably how you feel right now. And it's because I get shitty sleep. And that's why I went to the doctor to like get it checked out. And they're like, we're going to take you through some like thyroid tests or whatever. Got my blood taken. I went to a doctor to get an ultrasound for the thyroid. It was fine. Like nothing turned out. And I was like, fuck, I thought for the last year or so, like something had been wrong with me because my energy levels and my like level of just tiredness is so bad. I'm trying to figure out like why it stems from the sleep. We're like, sometimes I'll go through phases where I sleep well. And I think the times that I go through phases where I sleep poorly, there's always some like subconscious level of intense stress. And I try to figure out like what that is. And I don't know, dude, but, but I realize like if I'm like this every day, my productivity level, like this business would be fucking incredible. Like the yeah. things that I could do on a daily basis in terms of like the energy for filming, the energy for everything. It's crazy. And the fact that we just have so many people that I feel like feel like you every day just piss me off. I don't like, know how is there not a better it. solution? And like you see like say like a Dave Portnoy, right? What does he function That motherfucker off? like don't sleep like, at all. He's yeah. just someone who's just like, I'm just gonna sacrifice. But how do you how how do you get there? I wanna get there so I'm just like you he has to be tired, but like I mean, I, one, one, you sat, like, you, you see how he looks. He just looks like you look like shit all the time. Yeah. Two, Adderall, like, tons of coffee. So you're saying naturally this could never work, do you think? Like, naturally, naturally we're just fucks? Like, us well, I'm, being- I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there has to be, like, billions of dollars going into sleep research by the government or something. Do you think they even care? They have to. Do like, they, though? No. Because, like, I, I, he, I, would, I, would like to, I would like to hope that they- In America- like they don't care about sleep or like work life ba- balance. Like anywhere else, like it's funny. I saw a meme. Someone we said, don't like to solve the root of problems. We like to just find the problem and then be like, let's just zap all the little problems and never care about the little the honey that's making the fucking bees. There was like a, a meme that said like European when they put like an email like going out email Both memes. They were like, oh, I'm going to be on holiday for two months. Please uh, respond September 28th when I come back. And then, like, Americans. Um, I just had uh, triple bypass surgery. <laughs> I, uh, just uh, send me an email. I'll get back to you within three hours. And it's like, sure. that's that's our life. We yeah. just work until we Yeah, America's go. actually really ridiculous and insane, and I hate it. And I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping one day they're just going to be like, we came out with it. Here's the thing. With all these little technology things, I'll be the first to try all of them. I was yeah. saying the other day, I don't remember if you were here or not, if that was Monday. I don't think so. If they come out with like a brain chip, I would be first in line for it. Not even knowing what it does? Well, I mean, <laughs> I would like to know what it does. But I mean, like, if it's something that tracks who you are and it can give you productive information around oh, it. All in, yeah. Yeah, like, I would be like, okay, you're going to, like, monitor everything in my body and give me information on a fucking app or something. I'd be like, put that thing right into my brain. I'm cool with that. I always get mad when people say, like, you, the government's always watching. You got to be careful. It's like, I'm not doing anything wrong. So I don't care if <laughs> yeah. they're like watching. They're like they're, they're watching my laptop thing. I'm it's just like, like, good. Yeah, they've seen you me. You think jer- like the government's going to post you jerking off? All they like, see me when I jerk off is this. 
<laughs> they see me doing my physical therapy. Yeah, like, it's like, I don't care. So put it in my head. Like, what are they going to do? Worst comes to worst. Make me fucking die. Like, they could trace you anywhere you want right now. They yeah. hear what we're saying right now, even if they do. They probably hate our podcast. You didn't get, hey, uh, government, give us a good review. Five-star <laughs> Five star. review. Give us that presidential <laughs> political fucking campaign, please. Weather's nice. Weather's fucking. Nice is debatable. It's been hot. You know it's supposed to be like 60 and rainy the entire weekend? We were thinking about going down the shore for <sighs> one day. That's us. We're not going to anymore. Yeah. Do you think it's a lie? I saw uh, Rebecca. I saw Rebecca tweet like they're doing this so we can't. They don't want us to go out on Memorial Day weekend. I was Ooh, like, "Who, Rebecca? She's at the governor, go governor Gover of New Jersey, paid weather channel to tell us it's raining so no one makes plans." I mean, that is honestly not at a, first. At I was the like, "Well, not a bad idea," but second, I feel like they like we've had weekends and things going on now that they don't really care about. Yeah, it's but insane. I was th I was like, "Hmm, maybe." But I'm kind of happy because America, they make me choose two out of three summer holidays. So I, I took an L on Memorial Day and I thought that was the best plan. So I feel kinda, like MD Dub's like a pretty good, it like kicks it, off the summer. It is. But I, I put in consideration COVID and I was like, it's still a little early. So maybe I won't miss too much. That's fair. Still, I got July 4th and I got Labor Day. That's fair. So and I also think, like our age and our friends, like it's not like we were doing anything exciting. It would literally just be like a one or two day Rage or bender, like dude. I haven't been song. in a bender in. I I can't tell you. When's the last time I've been on a bender? I don't know. Think hard. I can't. I, I can't Mexico, think probably. That was like two years ago. Damn. I need help, dog. What do you want me to do? You can talk to your boss, not me. I'll put you. I'll put you on a fucking bender prescription. But you no, I was. I was. Re I'm really starting to like talk to Heather and like internally putting out like feelers out. I'm just trying to find a job that's. Still retail, because I do love retail aspect. I told you, I can't do corporate. You keeping this in here? Yeah. Oh. It's fine. No one watches this shit. Me and if too. you are watching it, just, you know, I'm I'm available. Never but, uh, no, I was I, like, I, like from Tiffany's. No, I love, I want to stay in Tiffany's, but then, you know, to have like a hybrid of corporate retail jobs yeah. and things like that. And that's kind of what I want to do, man. I want my fucking weekends back. I've been working, like I told TJ, I've been working weekends since fucking 14. I'm 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 over like I missed everything. <laughs> I missed fucking everything. Boy, life's just starting, baby. Life is just. I know beginning. that's why I want to fucking do it now. Like you, you know, need to move into the city. Is really, what you need to do. I know, Heather, I, what's, Heather, what's good with her job? She has. She's. She's. He, you know, get the fucking job. Lock it down. She's exp exploring. One is a startup, which she was excited for, but I think they're kind of um, stringing her along for a position that's not really what it is. That's a problem with startups. Yeah. So it's like they don't actually have positions. Yeah. But she might have another opportunity. And if it's remote, like, like. Honestly, the other thing, too, with moving into the city, I know, I don't know if, like, price is really. Me and TJ were actually talking about this right before. Moving into the city is, like, you look at it and you're like, yes, yeah, very expensive. But one, if you're, like, a couple, it knocks out a bedroom that you don't need to have. Mm -hmm. Two, you don't need to be in, like, a super social area because it's, like, just you two. Like, honestly, like, Hell's Kitchen would be good or, like, Upper West Side or something would be good for you guys because yeah. it's more of, like, a, a restaurant neighborhood. And you yeah, pay yeah. much less for that. Like, you could find rent places. To, the, the, the price comes into play, the cost of living. Like, groceries, gym, and shit like that is where it adds up. But, like, honestly, moving into the city, I bet you wouldn't spend that much more than you do it in Montclair. No, yeah, I would, I would assume so. I mean, what, are our spots, like, 21 right now? Yeah, and it, it'll be bigger than whatever you're going to get here, but, yeah. like, if you wanted to pay up a little bit, you could find, like, a cool spot somewhere. I know, I know. I never thought I would be a city guy, but, like, it's A, it's so easy to get around, and B, it's just, like, a different... Puts you in a good mood. It does. Puts bro. you in a good mood. You know what? I'm still kind of connect. like, I'm not as, like, you aren't, but, like, I'm still connected to Jersey with, like, friends-wise, and so many fucking people move to our town. Yeah. And it just, like... Yeah, you do have a good... It's nice there. to, like, also, like... I love coming here. I love hanging out with you and uh, now with TJ and you guys are starting to get like a little crew over here, which is nice. But sometimes you just want to kick it, you know, and there's some like have a have a lawn like you don't need to go to Central Park and find a spot. We have yeah. a lawn. We got yeah, we got that. our own dogs. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just like a different feel. I still love that uh, suburban type of area. I guess I'm I'm back and forth, but I would definitely do it if uh, Heather was down. Yeah, it would just be fun for a couple of years now and then you can always obviously go back yeah. and settle down or whatever. Um, but yeah, we were out for TJ's birthday Monday night, which was fun. Uh, we got a good crew. It was funny. It was almost like my birthday. I feel like I just like invited all my friends and shit. It was like a surprise. Yeah. So I was like, I got to do it. But like, I don't really know. Cause he's obviously like semi new to New York again and like just getting his footing. So I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know if he has any other extra friends I should be inviting. So it ended up being, it was, it was I had a, a really good time though. I was telling Heather, like it's, it's, it's everyone loved you by the way. Like <laughs> I was pissed. Why? No, I, I was pissed. They were just like, yeah, we need to like, Steve needs to come around. I'm electric on the mic. 
You're when good. I, when you give me a couple drinks, I'm like, uh, what's that guy in um, Notorious? I'll be in a jungle and I'll be making all those <laughs> animals jumping or some yeah. shit. But um, no, it was a good time. And I was telling Heather, it's really refreshing to go out with not your like core group because like, hey, you're not just reminiscing or you're telling the same fucking stories. That's over like and over why again. I don't. Yeah, you get into that groove a lot too. Like yeah. you do that personally a lot, especially yeah. when we're with the other people. Yeah. Just be like telling stories from high school. I'm just like, ah, yeah. I, you know I what I, I I used to do that I think nonstop and I think we've had a conversation where you're like reminiscing's fun but like we we don't need to do that all the time yeah. but like and like you said like but when you're in a certain group it's like listen when you're much. with a group of people like you yeah. find a denominator to talk about and like when you're hanging out with people from high school yeah if not a lot has changed in their lives or your life yeah. like you're gonna default back to the common denominator of conversation yeah no it's like it, basic human instinct yeah like, for sure know? and i think it's funny because i feel like i'm i'm stuck in two worlds sometimes and i try I, I adjust either way i'm really good at that but like i love going out with people that a don't know me i don't know them so like no conversation's old everything's yeah. new and it's just like you can keep going like we at that's what? why that's like, why like yeah. people always talk about like dating is so difficult. I'm yeah. like, no, it's not. Like first dates are I get I, I like like going on first dates because yeah. you're you're about to meet somebody that you don't know twenty five years worth of any life. Like if you can't have a conversation for one hour, you got never problem. meeting someone. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's really not that difficult. But same thing with friends. Yeah. No, that's funny because like this weekend you are like, I'm so pissed you never had heartbreak. Which like is this wood? Knock on wood, I uh you know wood. whatever. Hey. <laughs> Not on what I, I hope I I never have that, but it's just like I dating scene wasn't me. All I did was fucking drunk hookups or just nothing <laughs> because I, that was just who I was. I was a mess when we were younger, and like that's why I think like the dating scene to me seems so like nerve wracking. If I had to do, if someone would, like say Heather just vanished and then I had just had to start dating again, the dating scene would is, be so fucking nerve wracking if you go into it with a lot of expectations. Yeah. Most people go into dating with like, oh, I hope this person that I'm going on a date with tonight turns out to be a serious thing. And that's how you set your expectations up. You get disappointed. What do you do? I, I go into no dates with any expectations. Blank if it's slate. like a yeah, if it's like a I, I can get excited about things. If it's like a cuter girl or like someone we had a really good conversation about something, you know, and I'm like, oh, she seems like my type. I'll be like, oh, I've texted you before. Like, oh, I'm more excited about this. Like, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. feels good, you know. Um, but like when I go to the date, I'm just like, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to like have fun. But there's no way I'm going to have expectations of this going any further. Sometimes a lot of the times the girls I've dated, I've gone into it with like, I highly doubt I'm going to go. I, I found a lot of the girls that I've liked more than the other ones are ones that I didn't expect to. Mm. beforehand you know it's just like it's it's like a volume game bro like you're not going to get along with everybody like some people are nice some people are funny some people are you know sweet and 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 cute and some people just don't fit your life though you know what no, I, mean? I get that but you know what i think also just the one issue about these dating sites it's like i mean it's always gonna be like at a bar it's like that too like there's no wiggle room they are just not like amazing looking to you in the pictures like they're not even getting a chance and who fucking knows they could be someone that's like maybe in picture don't, doesn't picture well and like that could have been the fucking one in like great conversations yeah. great person like do you ever like i mean now you don't uh, aren't yeah. honest any sites but like at any point were you like like hovering and you were just like right ah, when maybe i was I'll give it that's a funny when like, i started on the apps yeah my standards were like really fucking high yeah and i was like oh like it, it's it, it's almost like browsing porn really yeah like, why would i click on a six when I could just get a 10. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. That's yeah. like the mindset I had for a while. And then I was like, dude, there's a lot of like girls that I've been with that. Yeah. The, I feel like the majority of them are like very good looking, but like I would give a chance to the girls that weren't good looking if we hit it off in person. So I started to think to myself okay. like, yo, if I saw this girl at a bar, would I, would I talk to her, you know, yeah. rather than being like, is she a fucking electric eight and a half, nine and a yeah, half, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So I started to, yeah, it was a conscious thing that I had okay. to be like, oh, I'm, yeah. my standards are way too fucking high for this right now. So broaden your horizons a little bit and you'll be and i've, I've you, you'll find immediately like the girl when you start to do that you have better conversations and you click it with you click well with them because i mean listen people that are so good looking haven't had to do anything in yeah. their life you know what it, i mean life they're, hasn't changed for good looking they're given people. friends they're given yeah. relationships they're given significant others and you know obviously they have their problems or whatever but like for the most part there's not a lot of depth to those people no i get you that's interesting that's because i always thought about that like what if like the one that got away because you never gave a chance. Yeah, like, there's you know, also a different like energy. You you could, you read people's energy in real life too. You're like, oh, like I don't know, something about her face might be off, but like I like the way she dresses or carries herself. And you're like, I'm yeah. I'm attracted to her. Maybe just not that picture or something. I don't think of myself as like a photogenic person, but like I'd like to think that when you see me in person, you like feel a different energy about me. You know, and you're like, I mean, like 
you're a good looking guy. Yeah, like, I'm not saying I'm like, not, I'm not like you are also fishing. one of those people that are like, like go fuck you. Like you have a a good life. Like you, have, like everything. Yeah, went well. Right. For I'm not you. saying like I don't think I'm good looking. I just mean like I don't. I really don't think I'm like that photogenic of a person compared to really? people that are like really good looking in photos. Yeah. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I think your hair looks stupid a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm like, so I, I think I'm subconscious about the way I look in photos. I don't think really. I'm yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. You, I don't think you take bad pictures. Maybe not. I don't know. I think I look awful in pictures, but most of the time I, I think I do. everybody probably thinks themselves. They look, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like only really good looking people look really good in pictures. Otherwise everyone's like, ah, I don't really look that good. It pisses me off when I see like, like Heather or like her friends or anybody like in that circumstance, like how long it takes one picture. Like it's just yeah, like, like, and it's like, what are you looking for? Yeah. What are you, what are the you perfect fake angle? What, like right? why? Yeah. Like why does that, why do you need that? Yeah. Speaking of Heather and her friends, we had a, we were at a good, uh, we had a good party on Saturday night. I, th- I had fun. Yeah. I had legitimate fun at that party. I think we, we just, we went in there in the good state. Like yeah. usually we don't. Yeah. And we said it's going to suck, but we, we drank a little bit beforehand. Like we so said. We, yeah. So we went to a party on Saturday night that was in Jersey, in Jersey city. And, uh, we've been to parties at this apartment before it's, it's Heather's friends and like, not, not like, but you know, not people that we like dislike or anything, but like a lot of the times, whatever we go there and we just like, don't really have that much fun at the parties. But we went into it, like Steve came in, we started drinking here a little bit, got in a good zone, went to the party and just like fucking had a blast. We just, I, we went straight to the punch. Straight to the punch. Oh, you mean like, like the drink? Yeah. <laughs> Did we the start punching each other? I mean, probably by the night. I would say. The straw game. The outside people, like I saw a couple of dudes staring at us like, who the fuck are these guys? Because like all we kept we were doing. too good, too much Like fun. we were trust falling. I was trust falling. Oh yeah. And then. We were just yelling. That's true. Uh, that is true. But you know what, though? When I go to like a party at like Renee's and them, I feel like I'm the comfortable one. There. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like if you go to a party of like, oh, TJ brings us to a party, like we would never be those people at that party. Yeah. But when I'm in that like environment, I'm like, I don't care about the people that I don't know because like this is more my circle than yours. But it's even funny, though that yeah. might not be true. No, anymore. no. But you know what's funny? Like, we just got it now. What, what year is it? 2021. We got to go to every party. Like, like that. Like that. Yeah. Because we're just going to have good times everywhere. Yeah. We were like definitely like the good time people at that party. Yeah. The straw game people were going nuts. The straw. Yeah. That was hilarious. I wish we got that on camera. That would yeah. be fucking awesome. We needed, we needed a vlogger, but sometimes people can't, uh, can't hang. Yeah. Tony. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Idiot. You know, when we were at a dinner, you told them to vlog and then uh, to Tony and Ella were like, not everybody wants you to vlog everywhere, you know? Yeah. And that had me thinking, like, do you think, like, that's an issue places or do you not even give a shit? No, they, no, that, I was just, like, bring the camera because you're vlogging, like, the lifestyle of what we're in. It wasn't yeah. necessarily, like, me, but, like, you're in the vlogs, TJ's in the vlogs, Tony's vlogging, like, whatever is going on in life is, is going to be videotaped. And I yeah. don't really give a shit. It was just, like, I don't know. It was, well, Ella was just, like no, it's supposed to be of like you and snacks and animal and like the people on the team. And I'm like, no, it's, it's just supposed to be about life. Do you think she just doesn't get what you kind of do in like the root of it? No, or? she gets it. She just loves to like, she loves to, you know how I'm stubborn. Yeah. And like, I'll find a reason to like argue with you, even if I don't believe it. Yeah. Like she's like that with me. Oh, okay. So she'll be like, say some shit like, and be like, eh, that's not right. And I'm just like, but, like this, no, like stop. <laughs> like you're doing that just to like yell at me. Oh, okay. Like, you know? no, I was it was like, one of those things. Oh, but okay. yeah, with Tony vlogging, I told him today, um, I was like, you know what you need to do a little better is maybe, maybe not better. Maybe I just see it because this is how I used to vlog. But like, yeah. I need you to see things where uh, rather than just like always doing a documentation version of it, where it's like camera in the face like what do you feel how do you feel about it more capturing the essence of what's going on and the energy of it and like funny things like today we went to the gym and like on the way to the gym he was like oh you know you could like talk into the camera or whatever so we like i talked for a little bit like 60 seconds before we go in but then like no footage after that i'm like you gotta like capture us like going into the gym and then like maybe if you're trying to get the energy of like what's going on in the gym you could like put the camera up to me going through the different songs in my playlist, like what's Nick listening to now, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and then get some workout footage, like more, more, not necessarily like B-roll because B-roll is just like random things going on, but like random things going on, yeah. you know, rather well, than just like do you think talking. He's kind of like, well, he's new to this, obviously. Do you think he's a little like scared of like whipping the camera out? Like, like with the surroundings that are around him, it could be, like yeah. maybe that might be the issue is like, dude, like this feels weird. You know, like for you now, camera next to you is nothing. Yeah. Um, because, it could be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's very new to it, you know, yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. to like, I have to tell him the way I see things, but like also he has his own creative 
viewpoint, but I do think like the way I did vlogs and the way he does them were very, are very different, you know, and I want to find like a common ground where it seems like kind of flawless, but I think they'll benefit from having those other little intricacies to them. Otherwise some of them could drag on if we're just like talking to the camera for 45 yeah. minutes, you know what I mean? And do, do you think like he feels like he's missing out though, like a little bit like that, that I do question. Yeah. That's why I kind of felt bad after I said it at dinner. You know, I don't want him to feel like he's not like part of like, he's like a, not a friend and he's just yeah. there to capture everything. Um, but I think you could do both. Cause I did that for a while. Yes. Maybe you could find like, he needs easier... to use the tripod more. He needs to just put it down. He doesn't need to be not even that too. Much. You, this, like GoPro must have like a small one that he could like fucking slap on or something, you know? Yeah. He don't bring that up. Honestly, I'm going to be pissed. Cause you're going to say something. He was like, he was like pitching me on this vest. It was like a bulletproof vest where there's just like a camera in it. I'm just like, that's ridiculous. But if it makes him comfortable, why not? Sure. I don't think he's uncomfortable. I just think he needs to figure out more of what to capture. Yeah. But I think he also, it doesn't want to miss out. I mean, he's in New York city. So maybe like you said, common ground. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, f I have no doubt we'll figure it out. I just think it's like open communications. Like, yeah. I think we need more of this and, you know, I'm sure he'll improve upon it next time, but I get that. doing a good job so far. Yeah. I mean, you were saying how like now that he's with you majority of the time that we're kind of overlapping with each other. So we haven't yet. Like we, yeah. this is the first time we did this podcast like this in a while where it was yeah. just like straight riff about not, not necessarily like the business. Yeah. And it's good, I, good. You know what? I think a, I, I got lazy. We both did. Yeah, we both just like we knew like more so we were, from your point because you were expected to bring the questions and shit, but we yeah. both we oh, both yeah. like, kind of let it slide. We both like you communicated to ask you questions, but then it was then we shifted to like it should be about behind the business type of situation, see what like weekly updates. Yeah. So like I was committed on coming, but then I was not committed on writing anything because then I was just like, oh, if it's about business, I'll just say what's up and then and that's we'll what just go. For a while. And but so, you could tell, I could, we both could tell that like the shit was drifting off. Yeah, the quality of it, or just like the idea or the the yeah, feeling of we it. We lost, was we off lost our way. I feel like we're bike right now though. Maybe we ebb and flow with the Knicks. Don't 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 say that. No, I'm going to the game on Wednesday. Yeah, but like I don't want to because the Knicks ain't came going out the first round. Put it out there. You know who L's favorite player in the world is? In the world. Yeah. Derrick Rose. Yeah. How the fuck do you know that? You guys already talked about that? No. She told me to tell you to look at her fourth Instagram picture. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's straight up just uh it's straight up just Derrick Rose. I'm gonna actually he, blow it up. I love him, but I have so much heartbreak with it. actually you're right. I had a heartbreak in my life. <laughs> Derek, Derek Rose. fucking Rose. <laughs> All right, well, I meant like a romantic heartbreak. Is she lying? Derek Rose not even on her fucking Instagram. You guys can't see him. TJ's here. TJ, Pretty how do you feel about when people are, like, we just take up your fucking living room. Is it going to get annoying for you? Like, are you okay with it? Or? Dude, TJ's such a free soul. Yeah. Did you just get that shirt? Yeah. I could tell. It's a, it's a different, it's a, uh, I'm not sure, I, I like it. I'm not sure what it is different, but I could tell that, Something with like the fit or the neckline or something is different than every other shirt you've worn since we got here. You have a really wide back. Yeah, you're like yeah. You're, you're you're built. He has like a he, he lost a lot of weight. Like dude, I, you, you know yeah. But I'm saying like when he loses weight, he has like a very like athletic physique. Yeah, you know? you're meant to bang girls of all kinds yeah. and races, and yeah. Shit. Nick doesn't got the back for it. You're right. I think like I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I feel like, I think, I think my back is like one of my, uh, no, you have a great back. I, yeah. say, you're very, you're very I have Nick, Nick walks around shirtless, like almost every morning. great, it's great, great bod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Like when I, like, Damn, they can't even hear all the compliments you're getting. I'm still, at, I'm still at a point where Just I'm losing trust weight. Me, you want to fuck me. Like <laughs> my towel, when I get out of shower, my towel is still above my belly button. Like, you know, <laughs> you, like, oh yeah, dude. Like I, I'm still there, you know? You're gonna yeah, oh, dude. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need to start now. That's what we're talking I have to stop it now. That's our favorite player. We're, gonna, we're all going to have nice fucking... Nice fucking backs this year. We're going to have great backs this we're year. fucking bike. Our, 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 our bike's going to be... Our backs are bike. Backs are bike. Said that five times. Our backs are bike. 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 Oh, you're so good at shit like that. That was good. See? All right, we need to... We need sorry, to, sorry. Reel it up. in, but uh, I'm pissed that her favorite um, player is Derek Rose because... It was heartbreaking him <sighs> seeing on TV in the, like, the... Um, Post game interview, yeah. It, it just, it just, it's like you're seeing like a withered away version. It's of a ghost, him. man. It's a yeah. ghost. He's and like a grand, a grandfather. He's just so, himself. he's so like excited where well, he is. 
Yeah, okay. I think me and Tony are grab something for you real quick. Okay. Enjoy. Later. Later. He was, it was like such promise. You know where he's going on his date? Where? Pineapple Club. Wow. Let's go. Great spot. We should go. Anyways. You want to get some oysters tonight? Just, just oh, sorry. Um, he, he was so, oh, God. I don't even want to think about like the 2010, 2011 team. I just remember. Stop reminiscing, bro. We already went over <sighs> this. I got nothing right now. <laughs> I got Levine that's like, I'll take a small cut for a, a superstar. It's like, yeah, no one's coming. A Knicks are bike. Everyone's <laughs> going to the MSG. Oh, yeah. Are you a Knicks fan now? Yeah. I've oh, been I've been no like, Thunder fan. I've been Thunder yeah, out. I'm Knicks. I'm Knicks. Oh, I like the Thunder too. I would say they're both my teams. I can't believe I became one of those guys. I'm allowed to do that when I'm not a fan of the sport, really. Yeah, you, but I've been you stepped re- away. I've stepped been getting away. really into the. I've watched yeah. like every playoff game that's on. What, was it on YouTube TV yesterday? Yeah, TNT. What the fuck? I was like, Heather's. You know what happens when you get bodied in a relationship? She's watching like Real Housewife reunion. I'm trying to get the fucking YouTube TV. I think I couldn't get on because you were watching and Mark, the other kid that owns YouTube TV, was watching. So I think I was a fucking odd man out. Could have happened. I was sad. I was. I actually wasn't here. Yeah, I was at. Uh, oh, maybe. Maybe I just didn't know how to work. I'm it. pretty sure like your YouTube TV is signed on to Ella's apartment. <laughs> the fuck. It's fine. It is because it, it, it hasn't is. had a problem yet. I'm about, I, I honestly, last night. yeah, I'm about to like just kick him out and just <laughs> like, <laughs> isn't it his? Yeah, you're you're out. That's you're what out. happens. You take we're, over. I mean, a we're company. the common denominator. Yeah, too. yeah. Out. If he comes at us, we'll be like, dude, like we voted you out. Yeah, he's out. Yeah. But getting back to this fucking cast, we have to fucking podcast. find this podcast. Oh, I've never heard anyone take the second portion of the word. You say this pod, not cast. This cast. We're casting this okay. line of fucking Whatever. education. Get back to it. So where, where do we want? Where do we want to bring this? What do we want to? What you said? We're bike, but next week we might not be bike. What kind of fucking? What kind of questions do you need from me? Um, like what? What do we need? What do people need? I don't if know, you, dude. That's a really hard question to ask. Yeah, if you guys have any user submitted questions that you like, we should do a Q and A section. We should actually. because I feel like you guys actually you guys give great. When we have when you, when when I, when I ask for things that are not fantasy football related, they have they ask great questions. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think we should have a Q and A. I think that would be helpful for us. They, but you know what's so funny? I'm waiting for the hate, and they're just so supportive on this cast. It's a good. It's a good show. That's why it's a good show. It's just yeah. real talk. But you know what? We're not. We haven't See, brought we the energy. We didn't. We didn't prep anything for this though either, which is the the thing. You know. It's just the, uh, we. Do you think it but, ebbs and flows with my energy, like my negative energy? Oh, 100%. But, I mean, I can also do that, but I've also been through my shit lately. But the, I think all, the other problem was, like, we haven't been going out. We haven't been doing anything together. Maybe. This was the only thing we were doing together. That's, like, I would just come true. here, just film while yelling, and literally leave. And I thought it would be more of an issue coming here after work, but I just have to start, like, figuring it out. And I think I, I could bring more energy if I still come... After work, like at this time, rather than coming off my so like nice my day off, day. you know, like because yeah, yeah, yeah. my day off is yeah, it's cool, but the amount of shit I do before and after kills me because I'm like because it's like a three hour window and then really? I just leave and you know I don't want our friendship just to be fucking this uh, podcast. I keep saying cast because like I'm literally all my friendships at this point. Actually, um, say it. It's it's more like it's not so much I don't want to say it on air. It's almost like if I say it, like it would just need more context behind it, and it's a lot of explanation. Which is mm. Something I'd probably talk to you about more so. But it's a, it's like it's Kelly was like, I feel like we don't have a relationship anymore. Yeah, you know, she got like I said something to her, and she was like, why why have you been a dick to me for so long? And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? The the comment I made was just like you know uh, a comment to be funny and had no yeah. meaning behind it. But she's like, I don't know. I feel like last like year or so our relationship is like completely like fell off. And I feel like I don't know things about you and you don't know things about me and yeah. like all this shit happened. And I was like, honestly, that's like the relationship I have with most people, you know, don't take it personally, but that's my sister. So it's, you know, it just, it was a weird spot. And I didn't realize she like really felt that way. Cause I, she was, she's one of those people that like, I don't see her as often as I should, but it's like one of those friends where, you know, you just sync up after six months, a year or whatever. And, and, and I obviously see her more often than that, but just yeah. in general, you link up and you're like, Okay, things are back to normal. We don't need we don't need that like cohesiveness in between the meetings, you know. I the I, devil's advocate on that. It's like the one thing you said, like 
it's just like friends. It's more, you know, it's family on that. And you guys are close. You guys, yeah. beforehand, like before COVID, like every time we had brunch, the last brunch we had was with Kelly. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know? I still, I, that's why I was like, I was not blindsided because she didn't mean it in like an attacking way, but yeah. I was like, oh, I still feel like things are as normal as they yeah. ever were. Um, it's probably, yeah, she was like, listen, I don't, like your podcasts are fine, but I don't want to follow your life based on the fucking videos you put out. Like, I'm not doing that, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you're really hard to get the attention of i think you have to like me personally i like obviously you hit me up all the time but i force a lot because i know that you know and that was an issue for us and when i think you moved to like i told Brooklyn. kelly this i was like yeah. i hope you don't i like i want you to know this happens a lot like this has happened with steve before, yeah like multiple times and like you know yeah. but uh, yeah i called you out because i was like i need it you know and like i think if kelly is saying that she probably needed you way before she said this, and yeah, for sure. I think it's on you to do that because there's not. I'm I'm trying to figure out what exactly she needs because I'm getting now that she. I, I guess I've been treating her more just like someone in the friend group because I invite. I same way I invite you, I invite her to basically anything yeah. that I do that's outside of like two or three people or whatever. Maybe you know, maybe it's like more of like a personal thing that we. Need yeah, to well, do. I mean, when Michelle she went to get her master's in Ithaca. This was like a while ago. And then she came back like after four years. Right. So, and I was like still at home. I never moved out. And like the shit I was doing with my parents sucked. I wanted out. And she was like, you're so mean. And then she moved to South Carolina like that with Luke. And at a certain point she was like, you're just such a dick. You don't call, you don't text. And like, I was like, fuck you. You know, like yeah. I, there's more animosity and anger on it, in my side. Yeah. But in the end of the day, like now I talk to her, I, I told you, like, the AirPods, once you gave it to me, changed my life. I talk to everybody now on the phone when I, like, when I have windows, like, pockets. I'm like, okay, this 10 minutes. Let me just ring this out real quick because, like, it needs to be done. That yeah. needs to be done with certain people Relationships in life. Relationships are such and, a conscious decision. And you have to do it. And it, and sometimes, yes, it is work. Like, you're like, is fuck, work. I don't have time for this. And you don't do that. You know, like, your mom will always fucking reach out because she knows you. She understands you. But your mom also is very independent. And I'm not saying Kelly is independent. She lives on her own. She does her thing. She has a great job and stuff like that. But she's going through the shit, too, in the yeah. sense of, like, she's trying to find her passion on what she's doing. And I think, like, you can be more supportive than that. You know, May, I'm not saying you need a plug her on that. But, like, like, hey, I know, like, like she asked you a question. You're like, Kelly, just figure it out. I did. Not everyone's like you. And you can't, like, fault people on that because... Yeah. And a day she's your sister, and you know, like you guys are very close. You guys can get close like that, but yeah, COVID was tough for her. And like, there's probably things you guys need to talk about that hasn't come out yet. And yeah, that's, that's what you I got to do. Was, Chop that's it up, I man. I think it was kind of lying within. I think she was, yeah. she was like, kind of staggered by when she showed up to Central Park and like I was there or whatever. And she's like, yeah. I didn't even know you were. I didn't like, even know she existed. Yeah, let alone like you're dating her now. That's you know? a hard thing to see. Like, you know, when, like, you're like, oh, really? I don't know this shit. I mean, there's yeah. probably parts where you I, you did shit. I'm like, and, I, like, Lacey, like, at the um, at the party was just like, yeah, people asked me, like, did Nick and Steve, like, just drop off, drop, like, kick you out again? Like, you know? And I was just like, what? and he was like, because, like, we don't, like, talk, like, 24-7. He's like, we're one of those people where we don't need to talk, and when we're back together, it's like that, you know? And, like, people are stuck in mentalities where, like, if you don't see them, like, with somebody, they get... First they get anger and then they get pissed and then they're just like, oh, I guess we're not friends. It's not like that. It's just like everything's a two way street when it comes to friendships. Because uh, yeah. you can't, if it's one way, it's not a friendship. It's just. I like, told her I felt like I was like, yeah, I, I probably am super complacent. Just figure that like you'll always be there and vice versa. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's about more than just being there. It's about like actually meeting halfway. No, like with like Heather, she she has a issues that she's trying to work with like family wise i won't get into it obviously uh but uh it's like right now like at us for like our relationship like when she had these issues i would be like i understand i understand i understand and lately i'm just like no then like it's been like a little bit of a fighting between us but i told her the reason i'm saying no it's like now and want her to fix this because someone can't fix a problem if you don't tell them and if they don't if you don't if they don't know how they can fix it once you tell them they don't fix anything then that's on them and then you have a valid reason to cry or be angry or anything like that but like i used to get angry at heather because if she's like anytime i went out i would get her something all right and when she goes out she didn't give me something i would get pissed and i was like steve why the fuck are you mad she's just supposed to know you want a fucking moose mus we munch from marshall talking about this at the party yeah um, oh yeah heather was like Shit. anger is a secondary emotion yeah anger is never like the first emotion you're angry because you didn't address something you exactly. get angry you're yeah. like i hate that he does that but it's your fault for not like 
saying that you have a problem with it. You know what I yeah, mean? Like you have to give everyone opportunity to 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 change. Or and if they don't, guess what? That's when people drop off. That's when you figure yeah, shit out. Because that's angry gonna happen. About, like subconscious things. You're yeah. angry about like insecurities, but like. You're the one that's not. It, 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 it it's it's like uh, you're not fixing the root again. It's yeah, like America is an anger, angry, angry yeah. fucking yeah. Country no patience, because, no nothing. Because they only think about the top part of shit. They don't like yeah. actually address the the real issue, the foundation there. of it. So I think yeah. that's how you like. This year has been so. I hate using that fucking spiritually like with COVID. Like you like it just made me realize what what was important, how I got to face it, and like I still go through my times. Like Heather the other day it was like. You, you really haven't been complimenting me lately and i was like fuck you and like <laughs> i was like that wasn't nice and like but you know what she she addressed it she said it maybe she said it in like a joking manner but i know what sure. this because we, i've had this issue we've talked about this before but i know where this can go and i'm like now i have and to she's make so not worth it you being like too tired to say something you being too annoyed to say yeah. something. not worth that fight in the long run yeah it's not worth a fight but it's also a reality check like steve you're being a cunt again you gotta start trying again like and like when, well, when Kelly it. brought it up too, and she was like, "You've been a dick for a while." I was like, "I was like, I'm sorry." Like that, I I completely agree with that, and that that's just been my energy. I that's why I got like the, I was concerned about the thyroid shit. I was like, "Dude, I really feel like my energy this year has been a lot of negative energy towards yeah. everyone, not just yeah. you, and towards myself too." You know, I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm like worried that there was something going on, but there are days, you know, like this where I feel good and like spirited about things but when she said it i was like i just need you to know it's not like a you thing you know i'm not like trying to push myself away from you i'm not trying to be a dick to you like i felt this towards other people as well yeah and i think everything could you somehow relate this to like covid and this shit changed people for the better for the for good or in between but you haven't like figure that part out you gotta fucking find it i don't know like with your sleep i mean you've always had sleeping problems so i don't really know Not what like that issue this, is this is different. yeah i know no, the other day when you told me you looked like scared and i was like fuck yeah so i don't know i mean i'm not a doctor so i can't fix that but we'll see. yeah I, I mean like i've gone through bad pockets and again i just it's usually some underlying like stress that i'm freaked out about i think it was when we first moved in here you know Dude, you had so much shit going on and then so, you know what money has been a big issue in the last couple, like year of like a the taxes and then it went from like what are we paying what am i doing who's helping what who's doing content and like stress now lately i feel yeah. like i've been more personal though you know yeah. like relationship wise and stuff and not so much like money but it was yeah like the last like two months or so was just it was just so much and like when i put my head down to rest it was just like no yeah like get your ass back up i was like fuck yeah i think that's just the growing pains of a owning a business and you i think you finally changed the direction stop like making other people your priority and now you're focusing on yourself and i think that's gonna really good with the content stuff yeah i think the video we just put out today with tony uh, Tony edited is it's popping off pretty well right now well that's that's all like that's what i'm saying like you're gonna have to start getting back to i think i said this in one of our first podcasts like these are the years we gotta have to be selfish yeah. and like and I, with a grain of salt like also also just people if they're important in your life you don't be selfish with them but you got to be selfish in the sense of what you want and what you need yeah but um, you need to buy i don't know like a diffuser in there or like a a sleep timer like there's some shit out there i'm gonna send you some links okay i saw it on shark tank you I don't know think it's gonna help my problem dude shark tank maybe like 18 percent equity and what I don't know. Sleep that's how diffuser. much. Yeah, some shit like that. I I looked back the other time because I was so scared I didn't press record. Oh, when you looked back, I was like, "What are you nervous about?" Yeah, you're like, "You're about to be dude. We're going on too long or something." I no, like, no, no I, it's never. Too I, long. I was so scared. Like I don't know. Oh, like okay. literally, just anxiety hit me right there. And I was like, "We're we're finished." Um, yeah. So like, it, yeah, it goes it goes back to normally when I don't have the foundations lined up in my life. A lot of the petty shit for work that doesn't bother me. Like that won't keep me up at night if I like have X, Y, or Z to do. But, like, foundationally, it was just, like, friendship-wise, relationship-wise, like, the team-wise, the draft guy-wise. Like, those are foundations of my life at this point, you know? Yeah. And like, when those things are awry, I get fucked up mentally. But I feel like most of those have kind of pieced themselves together. Do you think you have a problem, like... Yes. Whatever your question is, yes. <laughs> of not being in control? Like, that's an issue for you? <clears throat> uh, Like, you've probably been in control your whole life? I don't, I don't know. Um... Personally, I would probably say no, but like you might see it very differently and I would probably believe someone else who could see it. 
I would say I, I don't know how I act when I'm not in control. I just know like I feel in control most of the time, even when I'm maybe I'm not in control. But maybe you see me and you're like, I could tell you're not in control right now, so you have a problem. Yeah. Well, I would say like let's if we rewound the clock the whole way, like seventh, eighth grade, you were like the cool kid, right? And then like then high school happened, you were like the guy everyone asked, like, what are we doing tonight? You know, and then college you were like doing a lot of shit. Like you you were the party guy. And then after college you were just a ripped guy that is doing good and just banging chicks, you know? So like it control in a sense you know of what's like funny, like sorry to cut you off, but like you those aren't that's never how I saw myself as that guy. But I think that, all those phases. Yeah, which is funny though, because like you were you just like I think you just owned it. Like, you know, you're like, this is me, this is who I am. Like you've always been a like I don't give a fuck what people think person. I've always been a you don't like me? Why? I why? I need to know. I need yeah. to know. So and I think at this point now, this is the first year in your life where A, you weren't in control and now people weren't totally on your side like in work and shit and then you saw like some comments started affecting you like then like you felt like the business was in shambles and then you i think finally it was you you not like a subconscious like reality check was like holy shit like i didn't have a full control on this yeah maybe it's not like it's not a, like a narcissistic it's, control. it's not like a maybe it's an objective versus subjective control because yeah. like you could look at something and be like nick's not in control of that but if i as long as i feel like i'm in control of it then maybe i feel comfortable you know what i'm saying like you might yeah, look yeah, at something yeah. and be like that's like, why is Nick doing that? But I'm like, don't worry about why. Like, I'm good. Like, I yeah. know what's going to happen from this or something, even though it like might not actually be in control. It's probably more of a feeling thing. Yeah. For me. Like, you're like that blind guy that like walks around and the piano falls behind him. Like, he doesn't even know if the shit's happening. Exactly. You're like, everything is good ahead yeah. of me, boys. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, yeah. that's you. Yeah. And then finally, you fucking went to a wall and was like, yeah. where the fuck <laughs> is <direction>? the door? <laughs> yeah. that's but funny. no, I think everything's going, going well. This apartment's coming together. Yeah. Got everything going on. Yeah, things are good. And then uh, you guys probably saw this in the vlog yesterday, but I talked about the web design. We have our last pre starting to work together call. They like you? They, they ex- We're in. They We're accepted in. They you. They're like, yeah. they get, me get a real cheese. After like fucking four, two hour meetings. Dude, that's wild. And they're not going to stop either. But it's at to a less extent. It's Is uh, it like a million dollars? What are we doing? It's 10K up front, 10K after the project's done. It's 20K altogether. What if you don't like it? We make revisions along the way. Oh, why? okay. So this was the right thing to do. Yeah, I feel really good about it. They're like really fucking good. They've got, they're like, it's just, you know, when you're talking to someone and they're like, you could just tell they've been doing this for 20 years because they talk about things that you would never in your wildest dreams imagine. You're, you're probably like, I can make a beer tap move. They're like, well, it, it's beer just tap. Like, what about a keg? It's just, it's just <laughs> like, it, it's like they go to a website. And the guy's got like a tool. It must be like a Google Chrome extension where he could code any page that's already on the uh, on the internet. It doesn't actually change. It's like Wikipedia almost where it's like yeah. you don't actually change it in the grand scheme of things, but yeah. like for his own personal use. And he'll just be like, oh, this should be here and this should be here. And he's just like moving the website up and down as it's going. And then he'll be like, oh, like this chart is all fucked up because the bold text compared to the bottom text and the way the lines are shaped up and the color of the lines make it not pop like white charts as opposed to black charts don't do well on the web and when you move it to a mobile i'm like good so take my fucking money you know see like dude yeah like it definitely the right choice um so over the next like month month and a half that's when we project for the project to be finished are you serious one to two months will be done dude that's amazing i know one to two months (laughs) will be done done this years ago (laughs) legitimately yeah one uh one to two months will be done but that takes a lot of work a lot of time and uh We'll be, we have uh, initial calls every Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. And then he said some parts of the project will be more than that, more calls than that. Some po- some parts when they're like in their zone will be less than that. But yeah, it's like a very undertaking like copy. And they're like, you're like our ideal client to work with because you don't, you're not like a yes man. You know exactly what you want and you'll say it, but you're not like difficult to work with. Okay. You know, they're, they're like, yeah. you, you clearly have like a vision for it. We're a design agency. So we're going to like tell you what works, what doesn't work based on what you're saying to us. Yeah. Um, but you're not going to settle for something that you don't want. So I was like, okay, this is like, I just like how they weeded out a lot of things, you know, it told me that they only work with select few people. Yeah. And we had to go through like four calls for them to make sure it was the right fit. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's great. Do you feel a little better now uh, with that? Like last week we talked about. Do you really care about the draft guide and shit like that? I feel much Do you think this now. is going to help you get that energy back? And, yeah. But I think next year you might have to try to restructure that a little bit, right? To make it into something you'd love again, right? Because I feel like the last two years you've said you haven't loved it. And I think... Yeah. If you, uh, I think you this will revigorate me a lot for yeah. sure. It's just like... It, it's such a difficult premise to 
figure out what you want because the 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 products that sell in our space are so tool oriented. They're like tools, they're data, they're that kind of stuff. And the stuff I like to give is not tool oriented. And it's like, who do you go to to create that for you in like a tool oriented aspect? You know, it's very difficult to um, real basically like the way the last dude I was working with, Mike was telling like the way he fed me was that he was going to be able to undertake all the projects that I was asking. Of yeah. Him. And that would be like a six figure undertaking for him to actually real life what I was doing. Plus a team wouldn't have needed to work on it. So it's like me having to understand what's actually real life kind of things. So I was showing the guy, he was like, give me, you know, five or six. He sent me this whole sheet of things I need to get back to him. You got it done Sunday. Yeah. Wow. One of the, uh, one of the things that I needed to give him were like a list of websites that I thought were like really well designed, really well put together. One of them was like a Jack Daniels and a collab between like a sneaker company. And they had such a cool website where you go into it and you're like in this, dim lit bar and they put like a almost like a, a screen that drops from the thing and you're like watching like a movie of him presenting the, the product to you and he went through it quickly he's like yeah this is like a probably a two hundred thousand dollar project to make this website and he was like this is why this looks so cool because the angle of the video and you need to shoot the video i was like yeah we could do like video work for the website and make something cool he's like he's like you don't understand what it takes in order for you to shoot the video like you need to be shooting the video for the what you need to know the dynamics of the website and shoot back like reverse psychology or reverse engineering it towards the way we code the website. Jeez. I'm like, there's so much thought that goes into this stuff that I yeah. didn't think of. And the way Mike had me thinking was like, Oh, this is, you know, like we could just whatever and like throw shit against the wall as long as you can code it in. It's cool. But I'm like, yeah, it's not the real world. You Lesson know? learned, man. I think you also get into a point of yes, people can learn how to edit. People can learn how to shoot. You can maybe find a content creator out yeah, there. What you pay for. But like now we're at the point where you, you're going to get, you need to get some shit done for the brand. That's not human. Yeah. We gotta, you gotta pay. You gotta outsource. Yeah. There's a reason. That's like the fine lines. Like we've always been like content people, audience first building that. And the rest yeah. of it will take care of itself. But, but you know what? Which, this is for the audience. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah, once yeah. you scale though, like to, to please an audience at scale, you do need to have all the, the loose ends tied up. Yeah. That's the thing. I've learned. Are you going to put like, like you, your YouTube videos up in your website or that doesn't like correlate? No. So I still think there will be no free content on the website. Okay. It'll all be draft guide focus, but membership focus as well. So like the Patreon, yeah, we're going to be done with Patreon. It's all going to be through the website. That's great. But they're going to put it together. So like it's a user journey and like it's very simply laid out for them and you know, the upsells are there if they want something else. It's like, yeah, I'm just excited to see what they do with it and just how the project undertakes itself because I think it's going to be something that um, that we're going to be really happy with and it's going to help us a lot going forward organizationally. That's awesome. But yeah, that's that's what I got, I think. That's good. I don't know what time it is. It's time to cut it out. Stop. What show is that from? I don't remember. Full House. Oh, like it's like fun. I watch Full House. Yeah, you de- you I'm did. the white one here. Speak for yourself. And you're watching Full House. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve, don't fucking move another inch. Oh my God. How many times are you going to do that? I did it once. That's your second time. Fool me once. If you can smell. <laughs> Try to do a trust fall, dog. I said we're good, dude. It's time to make some fucking money. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? That's how, that's how, how seriously do you think those guys take those their jobs? One guy. Yeah, what's his name? I don't Bruce, know. The guy. Is it Bruce Buffer? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sounds right, yeah, sounds but also Bruce right. Buffer could be like a uh, like the spokesperson like, how do you for just, like Michelin how do you tires. Like, plant like how do you just whatever it keeps moving? Do you just follow it? Well, your arm is moving. Like no, no. But like it's extended like two hundred feet. Yeah, you don't think they have a tool that like just drops into place? 
Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> bow, now, now. Yo ass better call somebody.